Hey everyone, back. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, the QQ, the Quirky Quirkus. The Quirky Quirkus! Uh, we have a special video for you today. We are going on a road trip. So this is the start of it. We just uh, Peep in the dark. went Peep to the our dark. favorite coffee shop. Nora! <laughs> Check it out Nora. if you're in the Raleigh area. Yeah, so uh, we're heading to a special place. Uh, we'll probably capture some of the driving. Uh, there's a puppy dog, in case There's you're one. wondering. And the ear of another. And the ear of another. Sassy, come say hi. Uh, <laughs> she's nope, camera nope. shy. She's, she's camera shy. So, uh, we're going to catch back up with you guys uh, shortly. So, see you soon. See you then. Bye. All right. We're getting close. Oh, hey, Sassy decided to join this one. Hi, Sass. They've been very good dogs. We even got one laying down there. She's drugged with vet drugs, vet prescribed drugs. And we are getting close. So we will see you when we get there. Oh, here's Kylie. Hi girl, you wanted to say hello? All right, talk to you soon. We've arrived to destination number one. Hey, we're back. Uh, yeah, we're running. Yay! So, um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, right over there is either the Cape Fear or the ocean. We're not sure which one. Yeah, we'll probably know when we get to the end of this trail here, but we're hiking here in Carolina. Carolina Beach State Park. Yes, Carolina Beach State Park with puppy the uh, puppy dogs. Girls. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a very nice park so far. We're uh, really liking it. Um, do you want to go this way? Oh, well, the trail goes this way. Uh, we're a little lost at the moment, so Let's not not like super lost, but yeah, we're gonna look at the map. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching our videos, as always. Bye. So uh, we're back, um, and we hit some shoreline over here in Carolina State Beach or. Carolina Beach State, State Beach Park. State Park. Getting my words tied here, but um, some cranes off in the distance, and just uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really really pretty. Um, little trail that ran over here, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna check this out some more. But definitely a cool place to come visit if you're in the area and you haven't done so. Alrighty, everybody. So we are now leaving Carolina Beach State Park. Here's a look-see out the window. We really enjoyed this park. There were quite a few more dogs than we had anticipated, um, but our girls did really well. There's Kylie. Oh, my fingers over the thing. <laughs> and um, says he's tired now. So what we did was we went around the flytrap trail. Um, and we were able to see some pitcher plants and a couple little Venus flytraps, which was really cool. And then we went out to a dune, um, and it was just a really nice walk, a little, a little change of scenery, and we're headed to the next place. So we'll let you know when we get there. Hey, so we're back again, and uh, this time we're at uh, Fort Fishers State Park. Um, it's just a little south of uh, Carolina Beach State Park. And Curie Beach. And Curie Beach. Um, it's got the ocean, as you can see. Uh, people are flying some kites somewhere, maybe, if they can get it in the spring. Um, fort Fishers was a fort during the uh, Civil War. There's Christy for your viewing pleasure. Um, and it was pretty much what uh, spelled the end for the Confederacy when Fort Fisher was lost. So it was the last major port held by the Confederacy during the Civil War. Um, so this it is, dogs. it allows dogs. So this has been a, a pretty cool place. The NC Aquarium is over here too. We've been to that once maybe before this. Yeah, it's, it's nice. really cool. So uh, yeah, our dogs were out, but they got cold. The, yeah, it's a little chilly out here. I'm not gonna lie, the wind has made it uh, a little cold, so we're just walking down the beach now. And hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, the sun is getting real low. We've spent all day pretty much in the uh, Wilmington area of North Carolina. 
We're currently at the historic um, Fort Fishers. You can see the fort behind us here, or what's left of it. Um, it is an earthen mound fort. Um, this design was uh, new at the time of the Civil War for uh, the advancement in artillery had changed. Uh, they had started using rifle cannons instead of smooth bore, which means that the traditional fort building of Europe was now rendered obsolete. So this is the modern uh, fort at the time. It is made out of sand and that sand absorbed the impact of the rifle bullets. Um, we are actually looking at the back of the fort. I know it seems strange, but these mounds, uh, the cans were placed on top of the mounds and they were firing basically that way and that way to protect yeah, the river. You can't see that, you, okay. gotta, you gotta point. Sorry. Sorry, to the left they were firing. That and, way and this way. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so the right here. And how um, did they build all the sand? Uh, so mostly with uh, slave labor. Right, but so by hand. By hand, yeah. There's no machinery this time point. So it is all by hand. Uh, if you do kind of a shot here onto the right, um, there is uh, some sea oaks, which are really pretty. It's kind of a thing around here. I think these are sea oaks anyways. Um, and then you can see some more of them over here to the left. Uh, to the left of us here is the ocean. So this fort is literally on the peninsula. And that peninsula is um, basically what made it really important. So to the right is the Cape Fear River where um, Wilmington, the largest there. port in the Confederate, uh, for the Confederates at the time period is um, up the river. And this fort basically protected that mouth of the river so they could continue to get supplies. Um, losing this fort actually was basically the end of the war. This was the last major port for the South. And when it fell, it, it uh, it, uh, it spelled the end for them. Um, you can see the, the effect in the movie Lincoln, actually, which we watched here recently, didn't we, sweetie? We did. Um, at Nora. Yes, at Nora, our favorite, our favorite coffee shop. Uh, if you look to the left here, sweetie, can you bring the camera around? Uh, so the back of the fort was protected by palisades. You can see one over here. Um, that uh, was basically the only protection against any invading troops coming from land. So the fort primary, the fort's primary objective was to stop um, ships from getting too close. So basically, blockade runners could run the blockade and bring supplies into Wilmington. Um, That's pretty much it. This is a really cool state park. There's a beach, um, which you can enjoy. There's um, this historic site. Um, I like to fish here, so we'll we'll probably do that next time. We may do a fishing video, but um, this is Fort Fisher. Check it out, y'all. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we're wrapping up our day here at Fort Fisher um, State Park. And this is uh, what we're greeted to with a, a wonderful sunset um, right here by the fort. And... Isn't it pretty? It's very pretty. Uh, Christy's taking some photos of all the stuff. Uh, check out her photography. We'll put the link in the bio somewhere. Um, it's just been a really wonderful day. Um, I know you're probably wondering where the dogs are. They're in the car asleep. It's so, only 40 degrees. They're fine. Yeah, it's nice and cool out. It's kind of getting chilly for us, but I just wanted to share this um, kind of last view of the horizon before we uh, before we head out of here. Um, so this may be the end of the video. There may be a little more we add on at the end. We'll, we'll see. But um, this has been so far our trip to the Wilmington area, and it's been pretty awesome. And we're glad we got to share it with you. Bye. Hey, everyone. Welcome to rainy Wilmington on hey. this dreary, rainy morning. We uh, spent last night here at the, well, I don't know if you can see it. It's the Best Western Plus Coastal. They are dog friendly. Here are the dogs that spent the night there. They are tired because <laughs> they had never spent the night in a hotel before. Spoiled dogs. Yes, so the only thing, this was a great hotel I'd recommend to anyone. Wonderful view, of course it was dark and then rainy, but beautiful view of the river. Um, the only thing is that I didn't see on their website that the dogs are not allowed on furniture or a bed 
so I didn't bring their blankets or their beds. So they slept on old clothes like troopers and pillows because there were too many pillows. So they got a pillow. Um, but they're, they're tired now, as you can see, grumpy sassy in the back. But they, they were great with COVID precautions. They were great with breakfast. Um, even dairy free and, and pescatarian here found things to eat. Um, they, you had to use hand sanitizer before you touched anything and only four people allowed in the breakfast room, stuff like that. It was lovely. Um, we ordered in last night cause we were going to be fancy. So baby, what did we get from Grubhub? Witch Witch. Yeah, we did. Witch Witch. I love Witch Witch. And it wasn't they, fancy. It was fancy. It was delicious. Okay. The only thing, the reason he's upset, let me just, the reason he's upset is because Grubhub made a little mistake or which which made a little mistake where we ordered him a large we ordered me a large because we didn't do any sides and he got a regular and it's a little disappointing and I think he's still a little hungry. hungry so it was very good though and it was really nice because they closed our witch witch closes to us yeah. makes me cry because they have another cool thing about this particular um, hotel motel whatever this is um, is all the rooms are waterfront facing so you can see the waterfront from every room and which they, is kinda cool. yeah and they have a little observation um it's not a deck, deck. what is it platform pier pier that's the word i was looking for observation pier where you can see the uss north carolina right, right. is that what that is that's, that's the US, yeah. yeah the uss north carolina um so we've had a great time but it is raining and cold so we didn't try to take a walk or anything i was hoping to get up because it's right on the boardwalk on cape fear so maybe some other time um but we had a great day yesterday so and i think uh i think they're probably ready to go home <laughs> they're ready to go home all right so, bye thanks everyone. for coming along uh keep it quirky keep it quirky